Hi, I'm Chris with Brinson Marine, and I'm here at the CNY Winter Boat Show, and I just wanted to go over our floating docks that we have here. Now, right off the bat, you might notice that these floating docks look a little bit different than the typical floating docks that you may have seen. Uh, maybe you saw something with some metal or some wood on top of plastic or foam floats. Uh, these are all single piece construction, they're roto molded, and they have a huge stability advantage over those styles of floating dock, mainly due to the fact that when they're constructed, they have these chambers underneath. You can see these right here, and you can imagine a suction cup when you would put it down, it's hard to pull off. That's kind of what happens with that with the water tension on the water. And so these kind of act as suction cups and give you better stability with that. And you might be thinking to yourself, you know, all plastic, it might not be that rigid. You can see here we have a cutaway of one of these uh, dock sections that has what they call kiss-offs, which is where the, the bottom touches the top there. And it's, you can see that it's well supported. It's very strong. It's not going to feel squishy under your feet or anything like that. Um, even when it's warm out, it's not going to feel that squishy for you. So they're nice, strong pieces. They come in a various uh, assortment of sizes, which is these are four foot by 10 foot pieces, um, which is our most popular one, I would say, four foot by 10 foot. There's also a three by 10, five by 10, and a six by eight. The four by 10 and the six by eight are the ones that we sell typically. Um, it's the ones that fit people's layouts for the most part. Uh, four by 10 would probably weigh around 200 to 250 pounds, I would say. Um, when we're installing them, usually two guys can carry one section. You might need more than that, that's fine. Um, but you also may not have to pull them in and out every single year, uh, depending upon where you live uh, or where your, your waterfront property is. This is suitable for the winter. There is a marina up in Alaska that uses a whole ton of this stuff and they don't take their stuff out. Uh, the main worry is ice flows specifically. Ice can form under this and it's fine, but when the ice starts flowing, you get big chunks of ice, big huge pieces that travel down the lake or river, wherever you're on, um, it could potentially do damage to the dock. So in that case, if you have huge ice flows, you might want to consider taking them out for, a, uh, for the season, for the winter. And another option, you could install a bubbler and keep the water flowing around it, and maybe the ice flows would travel around it. Um, that's one option too. You can see here that there's a pipe bracket on this end of the dock, and what this is is one of the ways of anchoring the, the dock itself. This, you would drive a two inch galvanized pipe straight through that hole in the pipe bracket right there, right into the ground. If the ground is hard, you might need an auger and you might need to spin it in there. Um, usually we install this in soft lake beds or rivers that have a lot of muck in them. And you can just drive that pipe right down into the muck. Sometimes they go down two, three, four feet even sometimes. Uh, and we have pipes up to 21 feet. So even if the water's deep or the muck is deep, uh, we do have pipes to accommodate for that. And you can see here, um, well, before I move on to the accessories, there are actually a few other ways to attach the dock to anchor it, which uh, you can use uh, chain anchors, which you'd crisscross chains, which go under the water to heavy weights that are at the bottom. You can also use big, long uh, stiff arms, they call them, which is just galvanized pipes that go out and attach to the dock itself. Uh, that allows it, you know, allows you to attach this somewhere where maybe the water is super deep or you have a seawall to go off of and you can uh, just attach it directly right off of that. Um, but you can see here that there is a bench on here which can also attach to our aluminum dock or standing dock and any of the accessories that can go on the standing dock can also go on this poly dock here. So if you wanted a grill or basketball hoop, bumpers, cleats, all that stuff can all go on this uh, poly dock as well. And then uh, you can see here that we have a, what we call a shore port, and that's what you would drive a jet ski up on or, or a kayak or something like that to keep it up and out of the water. There's no, uh, there's no mechanical components to it. You don't have to drive anything. You don't have to spin a wheel or anything and raise it up out of the water. You just drive it on, tie it off, and you're good to go. And you can also see here that these are connected with these flush connectors right here. These are also plastic connectors. Um, but they're very rigid, very strong, and you can see how they connect right here. It's basically a huge clamp, and it just clamps the two sections together. There'd be no another section right here um, that this would just clamp on, and it clamps very hard. They're very rigid, and uh, I've never seen one of them ever break. So, 
Um, you can see behind me we also have a Hydroport, they call it, which is a different brand that Shoremaster acquired recently. Um, it functions in a very similar way of the Shoreport, and it's just another option for you if you, if you wanted something like that. Um, that's about it for the poly dock, other than they come in uh, two colors. There's tan that you see here. We also have gray, which we don't have here at the, t the moment, um, but there's two colors mainly to choose from. But if you have any more questions, feel free to call us, and you can visit our website for more information as well. Thanks.